All right. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's uh, let's continue. So, so, so John the conductor is a generation of Shahidi conductor. So from tampered app packet to this arbitrary local packet. So, <clears throat> yeah. So the first part saying that. So, um, so this DBB uh, saying it gave an upper bound for the wavefront set of representation in the packet. So. And this p psi is a partition related to a uh, parameter, and uh, this is a partition of do, do group. And DBV map it to the group itself, all right? So uh, part one saying that so zero is upper bound, OK? Part two saying that this upper bound is non-trivial, can be achieved by someone, okay, at least one, OK? So. <clears throat> all right, so, um, so this, this uh, so. Uh, so John's conjecture originally uh, is conjectured uh, for global as a packet. Okay, there's locally and there's an analog like this, right? So after, um, so John to John with, uh, sorry, this. Yeah, John, John with John with John. So we proved this upper bound part for the global as a packet for classic groups. Okay, but the second one is uh, globally still open. Okay. Uh, but some cases have been done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're on. All right. Okay, let's continue. So, um, so with, with Shahidi, we start to uh, consider this local and uh, the, the local analog of John's conductor for local as package. So, um, <clears throat> all right. So we use this character identity of Arthur. So you see, on one side is uh, Arthur packet information. The other side is of this by total representation with G O N by total. So. Um, so let's uh, introduce this representation of GLN. So Poseidon naturally naturally gave a representation of, of GLN. This would be the, is the, uh, is you have the dual group, the dual group embedded into GL, okay? So, so for this representation, it's easy to see, you can see the wave from set, okay? And uh, so you, you have to, uh, uh, as a setting, you have to use this other conjugation to, to construct this, um, um, this disconnected group of GL, GN is GL, okay? And uh, so you consider the the the, the, other, the other component, okay? So also uh, define a canonical extension of this pipe side to the, this the other component, this is called by total retention, okay? So, um, <clears throat> so it, by using the closel character expansion of this connected group, so one can uh, similarly define these sets for this by total representation. So by taking the cut expansion of this by total uh, at certain points. So here, uh, so we don't introduce more details here. So what, what happened because this is this kind of identity. So one side is local as packet information. The other side is this by total character, okay? So that's why this uh, cut expansion this by total representation naturally actually in the picture. So, <laughs> So the, the, the theorem is, so uh, assume, there are some uh, assumptions here. So assume certain property of this um, with front set of this by total representation, then the following holds. The part one says, uh, so for this, this is the upper bound, right? For any P bigger than the upper bound will not occur at the with front set of representation in that packet. Okay, so here, Notice that so you order to show this is upper bound, you have to exclude the bigger one, also not a related one. So unfortunately, so currently we cannot rule out the not related one. So the second uh, uh, result is this Yinhan Shadi conjecture is true for GM. Okay. The third one uh, here is uh, so but the achievements, namely that this non-trivial or the upper bound, there are some cases one can say, okay? So namely in this, uh, if this identity holds, then the upper bound can be achieved, okay? In particular, so if BI, remember BI is a dimension of the other SL2 representation. So if they have the same parity, then this 
upper bound can be achieved. OK, so in any case, this is our uh, kind of attempt towards local down the conductor. So this is like a reduction, because on one side is local as a package, the other side is by total repetition. So it's through the matching, and it can transfer this uh, question to, to this property of the by total repetition. So using the result of a kernel, so these properties are partially, can be partially result, uh, proved. So it's, uh, yeah, still some assumption here. OK, this is our attempt towards the conjecture through this uh, matching. So some remark about the proof. So um, for the, for the non-trivial of the upper bound, we have to use the uh, construction repetitions, particular repetitions uh, in other packet. This is use the work of John Surgery and my work with Jason, okay? And uh, so, yeah, so then you have to show that um, this uh, we front said achieved upper bound, okay? <laughs> And uh, uh, so for the, uh, the for the uh, is actually the bigger orbits we need to use the current identity of Arthur and using the matching method of Shahidi uh, in 1999 paper in any paper and um, <clears throat> so a uh, remark is uh, recently so what's pretty compute the wavefront set of tempered and any tempered unipot representations of order orthogonal group and uh, in general for connected data group PID groups in their split. Okada, uh, Subutaro, Marcin, Brown, Okada. So they have a sequence papers on computation of wavefront set for, for unipotent repetition with real infinitesimal characters. Okay? So these results actually prove special cases of John's conjecture for these unipotent repetitions. Okay? So this is our uh, this is our attempt towards John's conjecture. So, so later I will introduce uh, another way where we kind of reduction of John's conjecture. So Notice that in the formulation of John's conjecture, there is uh, this DBV, the partial organ duality. So, and uh, because this, this is the mapping of uh, new opposite of the dual group to the group itself, right? So the fiber, recently we captured the fiber of this one explicitly for cardiac groups. So indeed they have, um, they are very important towards John's conjecture. Well, so, and they have another application towards so-called the weak local aspect conjecture of Subutaro, Messin, Brown, Okada, okay? For split class of groups. So, um, yeah, and this result, uh, uh, in, at the same time, independent proved by Okada and Gravich. Um, uh, sorry, this is not, this is, no talk yeah, I should, I should remove this, yeah. Okay, so uh, this weak local aspect, the conjecture says, uh, if you form, they form this set, Okay, this you fix the infinite character and they consider representation such that the wavefront set is bounded by this candidate, okay, upper bound. And they, they conjecture this is the union of a local aspect. Okay, in particular, this will imply the unitarity of these representations. Okay, these unipotent representations. All right, so uh, <clears throat> it turns out um, this weak local aspect of the conjecture is closely related to, to John's conjecture. You can see that uh, this upper bound naturally play an important role here, okay? All right, so that's the first set of problems of John's conjecture, uh, which is John's conjecture. So now let's uh, uh, consider the second, the intersection problem, okay? Sorry, no, they, they, uh, yeah, so, um, so remember, Shahidi conjecture is for tempered um, L packet, right, at the upper bound. And the John's conjecture is about a local ass packet. This is joint generalization. So, and this is not the, the principle two, okay? So, so now the question would be, so for any representation, so can you conjecture any upper bound? Okay, this is motivated by the work of Subutaro, Masin, Brown, Okada. So in this joint work with Hazleton, Law, and uh, Shahidi, so we have this conjecture called upper bound conjecture with Francais. So Hazleton, Law, are a student of uh, uh, code wise with Shahidi. So Hazleton is a post at uh, Michigan, and Loy is going to graduate next year. All right, so um, this upper bound conjecture says, so for any admissible representation pi for any group, and this with front set is bounded by, by these orbits, okay? So this pi hat is the upper that we could do, okay? And this is the L parameter of it. Okay, of course, here we assume local on the bonus. So and uh, so if you read, this will be a per, uh, L parameter, right? And you restrict to the delay SL2, you get orbits on the dual group, okay? This will be the O of five hat per hat. And uh, this will be orbit on dual group. 
and use the DBV to map it back to the group itself. Okay, and we conjecture that this wave front side of pi is bounded above by this. <clears throat> so we show that this upper bound conjecture actually equivalent to John's conjecture of part one. Part one is the upper bound front. Okay, and um, and this conjecture can upper bound conjecture actually can be reduced to so called anti discrete representation, namely the dual is discrete. Okay, so you have this reduction to this smaller category of conditions. So similarly, because they are equivalent to John's conjecture part one, so John's conjecture part one can be reduced to an anti discrete localized package. So this is another method towards John's conjecture and the reduction. Okay, but still for this, uh, uh, this representation, uh, it's very hard to consider all these conjectures. They're all, they are equivalent. Okay, all right, so. <clears throat> So you see, uh, Shahidi conjecture for temporal packet, and Johnson conjecture for localized packet. So initially, one can ask, so what is, I mean, if, can you say something about the arbitrary localized packet, OK? So motivated by this uh, upper bound conjecture of individual representations, so uh, in uh, don't work with law. And Shahidi, so we made this uh, general Shahidi conjecture for localized packet, local L packet, sorry. So um, uh, we, so uh, find the L parameter, so you, you define this set. That's a maximal orbit come from, uh, you see, this is upper bound for pi, OK? And just put all these upper bound together, you take the max, OK? So you're expecting this will be the upper bound. And uh, so for pi uh, for in this packet, uh, of course, it's bounded by but some orbits here, OK? And any orbits here, so expect to can be achieved by some pi. However, there is difficulty here. This set may not be a single term. Okay, this means that set may not be singleton. Okay, this is uh, uh, one version of this uh, general Shahidi conjecture. So there are some remedies. So the, the first one remedy would be um, so this involves the local ABE packet. So as a packet is an uh, enlargement of a certain L package, and this ABE packet are enlargement of any L packet. There is you can transform ABE packet. So um, so for, for real groups, uh, this is defined by um, uh, Adamant bubble organ. So in the um, PID groups, this is defined by uh, Cunningham and uh, uh, his group. Yeah. So um, so 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 the L package, then you get the upper bound may not be unique. So we conjecture that if you consider this AB package, you're gonna get a unique upper bound. You see here. This one, this 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 is independent representation in the packet anymore. So this fat hat, so this phi corresponding to a, a new point orbit in the so-called Vogan variety, and this fat hat corresponding to the free transform of that orbits. Okay. So and you get the orbits of the new group and take the bubble organ. So this one conjecture to be the upper bound. Okay, and uh, this non-trivial conjecture. And so one remark is this upper bound part actually equivalent to the upper bound conjecture and also equivalent to John's conjecture part one. So in other words, they're all equivalent, this upper bound. OK. <clears throat> so that would, be, uh, that would be the first remedy of this non-uniqueness. <clears throat> so the second uh, remedy is, uh, is consider instead of the L package, we consider the do. All right. So to find the L parameter, you just instead of consider pi phi, you consider the pi phi do. Okay. And uh, so here, because pi hat, pi hat will come back to pi hat will come back to pi phi, right? So now the upper bound is given by this phi, okay, instead of phi pi hat. Okay, because you consider do and the do it back, it comes to pi phi. Okay. And um, and is a conjecture to be non-trivial. So here, that's a very interesting point of view, namely, so in order to consider um, this upper bound wave front set, so instead of consider the L packet, you, you may consider you may need to consider do L packet, okay? And then remember that this this do of L packet, they may not be L packet right anymore, right? But they still give a partition of the maspo do. So, um, and uh, we join with Law and Shahidi, we can do similar reductions for this conjecture to uh, some smaller category. All right. So this would be uh, some recent progress on this with front set of uh, uh, L packet, R packet, and the arbitrary L packet, et cetera. Okay. 
All right. So, so now let's back to the, to the second set of problem, which leads to intersection of a low-cost packet. So one example of this is this picture. So just want to show the complication of the intersection problem, all right? So you have these three set of local other parameters, and uh, this will be the, the other packet. Okay, so you can see that it's quite complicated. So here, the, 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 the square means the L packet, okay? So you can see that, for example, this Psi2, this other packet consists of the four representation. They come from three L packet. And this L packet, Pi4, Pi11, the Pi4 is there. And this Pi1, Pi8, Pi9, Pi10, Pi1 is there. So it's, so in other words, you order to patch up this Psi2 packet, it's quite complicated, OK? This showed the, the complication. And uh, so you see, we have this different color, right? So I will get back to this color, the meaning of the color later. All right? So you can see, um, <clears throat> So for example, this brown one, right, is pi, uh, process three. So this would be the, the L packet comes from process three, namely the five process three. And there is another L packet fully contained here. Okay, so sometimes the L packet can fully contain the other packet, sometimes not. So in other words, this patch up local packet is complicated, all right? So uh, another motivation is, uh, motivation of this intersection problem is this so-called non-temporal GGP problem. So, so the GGP problem currently status is for generic local uh, packet, right? So, and uh, <clears throat> classic groups. So, and this non-temporal namely, so you have, the, I mean, the consider question for non-generic uh, packet or is it non, or non-generic other packet, how to formulate it even. All right, so you see, for, for example, for these two groups, all right, so um, you take two, uh, as a parameter, so, and this is a conjecture of Gankros Prasad. If you consider the L packet of the other packet, it is still conjectured to be the unique pair, such that it's from non zero, okay? However, if you consider the Vogan other packet, instead of using the L packet in the, in the other packet, then this unique may not hold. So they give uh, examples uh, in, in their paper, a recent paper, so, and this, Example exactly uh, due to this non-trivial intersection locus packet. This will increase the this map list, this yeah this map list, So um, this dimension. All right. So this will be the motivation of the intersection problem. Okay. All right. So uh, in order to uh, introduce the result, so let's uh, recall Maglan construction. So you see, this is the local other parameter. Mugland has its first reduction, reduce the general case to the so-called good prior case. So what happened here, you see for each component, remember that this phi is lies in the do group, right? So each component, they may have the same type of the do group or may not. If they may not, they put it in the levy, okay? So a good priority is every summand uh, itself do and have the same type of psi, okay? These are good priority. For the otherwise called bad priority, they put it in the levy, all right? So McLean showed that. So the construction of this uh, general asset packet, so can be reduced to good parity case. So this percent zero is good parity in the middle, same type. And this bad parity put in the levy. It turns out that it's just the irreducible induction. Okay, so once you know this good parity part in the middle and you just do this irreducible parabolic induction, you get the whole packet. Okay, so this is first reduction McLean. And uh, so recently, Atobi had this reformulation of Maglan construction, so formula focused on these two groups. So here, there's some uh, extent my segment of data. So what's important here is, for each data, there is naturally, uh, there is naturally uh, other parameter attached to it, which is good parity, all right? So this AIB uh, numbers, okay, this eta is some sign, okay? So, Anyway, so let's just remember that. So each data, there is a, 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 these are other parameter, okay? And the, later, the, there is repetition attached to this data in this packet, if not zero, okay? So some example is like this. So uh, you can view this data in this uh, pictograph. So this AIBI are uh, just uh, uh, the end points, all right? And this LI show the number of triangle, okay? And this eta is signed, okay, namely, you have this sign change. So this eta here is eta and next one, start next one alternating. So eta two is one, there is no circle here. All right, so you see naturally there is a other parameter attached to it, okay? 
So a two-base theorem is for each data, you can assign a representation, which is irreducible or not, or zero, OK? So and if you run through all the data, for so given the same as a parameter, then you get x to zero, you get the whole package. This is a two-base reformulation, OK? Remember that for each e, you get the psi e, right? And then you fix this psi e as run e, and you run through all these repetitions for this data, and that will be the whole packet. Okay. So here is the theorem about the insection problem. This is um, independent work a to be at the same time. So for these two groups, there exist algorithms to determine whether a retention is as a type or not. Okay. If it is as a type, then there exists algorithm to determine all the localized packet containing it. Okay? This will be independent work, different algorithms. So, uh, so we appreciate that Toby uh, at the early stage share his um, code, stage code on this on his reformulation of, of Maglan construction. Yeah. So at this moment, so both algorithms, both code are at the GitHub. Everything goes online. Okay. All right. So um, the feature our, our method is so we use so called this. You see, remember so. So for usually for each pi, there is a bunch of data, okay, representing so this each each data give you uh, one other parameter. So depending so pi is running several other packet, and uh, so it has different form of data for each pi, and uh, so there is so called unique canonic form, so which carries most derivative information pi among all e, so such that they give the same pi, okay. We use this uh, result. In our algorithms, okay, and uh, so there is a complete set of operators, so which each each of them predict representations. So, namely from from E, what happens is you apply sequence operators. You just keep applying, keep applying, gonna run through all the data, give you the same pi. Okay, this can be used to exhaust the set, or you get all the data, give you the same pi. Okay, so each data give you a packet, so hence you have all the packet containing the same pi. That's how that, how it goes. Okay, so next, uh, let's briefly see the, all these uh, uh, operators. The first one is this switch rows, row exchange. Okay, this exchange is introduced by Xu. So I uh, remember the picture graph. So you just switch rows, and these were pre representations. All right, so namely from data, you do this, you still get the representation down here. And the second set of operators introduced by a two base. So this is called union intersection. Just you see. Uh, evening in the section, yeah. So you get a new pictograph. This new preserved conditions. The the and this is third operator is uh, motivated by you see a two b. You see, the question is you have a pi come from e, right? Pi can consider there is a do right? And what is the data corresponding to do? So a two b gave this uh, precisely the, the namely the data corresponding to do of pi. All right. So the third operator introduced here, by the way, the do of E is just, uh, you get a new data, give you new other parameter, just switch this, um, you see, other SL2, and then SL2, just that easy. Right? And this is just, uh, this give you a new other parameter. So the third operator here is do UI do this competition, okay? UI is the union section we just introduced. It's also pre representations. The, the fourth uh, operator we need to introduce is called partial do. Namely, you don't do this for all uh, for all pieces. You just need to do, whenever you see this, okay, you may need to switch the half to negative half. Okay, namely, this half in your case. Okay, so um, yeah, this is then another one, technical operator. Um, so the main theorem is so um, uh, this joint with Eisenhower law. So, like the operator row extend the union section do you I do so these partial do also preserve representations all right so so how it how it goes you have a pi come from one data all right then you just run through all these operations operations and uh, including the inverse is there you can get you can get all the data corresponding to the same representation okay and actually there is a precise formula to compute this set namely all data corresponding to one representation. Hence, you get all the packet containing one representation. Okay, this is uh, 
somehow give a way to understand the insertion problem. Okay. So there, there are a bunch of uh, applications. So first, <clears throat> for any local other parameter, so uh, we gave a precise counting of the number of temper partition in the uh, other packet. So it, you see the GTP problem for temper packet is, is proved, right? So, so now if for non-temper packet, you want to, I mean, the number of temp temper partitions there, I expect to play a role. So is it this counting expected to play a role in non-temper GTP? And so we proved the enhanced ID conjecture for these two groups. This is unconditional. So in particular, yeah, so this, this is enhanced ID conjecture. All right, so, and you see other packet has naturally has the L packet in the middle. So we characterize all the E given the, the pi is in this L packet. So, um, and uh, so, so we, we also gave this definition, you see, this is this is a question back to uh, when I was a grad student in Minnesota. So Professor Diwa Jiang, my advisor, asked me. So I usually I always say that the local as pi, the he, he will stop me. What do you mean by the local as parameter? <laughs> because the pi could lie in several as a packet. There are several parameter uh, other parameter related to pi. So what do you mean by z? So for this question, so we we uh, we define one. We hope uh, what well, we think this can be called d. <laughs> so uh, hopefully. So it has this property. So this uh, this pi is definitely in this packet, okay. And if pi in the you see in the L packet or come from local packet, then this psi is z, all right. So that's the basically uh, requirement. And uh, so this psi max actually has, namely, so whatever property of this local packet, this z local term has the best one, has the best property they can get. Okay, so there's some character. Uh, yeah, let's back to this example. Then we're gonna have the characterization of this uh, max. Let's mean the, the what the color, what the meaning of these colors, right? So let's see this psi, psi one, right? You see they have pi two, pi one, pi three, and pi three that's uh, is the L packet of psi one, pi psi one, and pi one, pi two somehow is blue, it's not red, which means for pi one, pi two, it lies in three packet. Z local as a parameter of them are just the psi two. Yeah, that's that's a meaning. All right. So um, and he, he here pi six, uh, the Z is the psi three, etc. Yeah, that's the meaning of these colors. Okay. All right. So this psi max uh, analogs similarly you can define psi min. I mean they have, I mean their extreme point. If you consider, you see, given the pi, right? You can see all the parameter related to it, namely pi is there. Okay, this set, it can define many orderings. There are, at least there are five, five or oh, even more. So these these are a unique max, unique main element there. Okay, these are extreme points. And uh, in particular, this percent max has the best property, namely this is the most tempered one, as we expected. Okay. So uh, this percent max gives the, so you see in other classification, so uh, the normalized internet operator, so he normalized using the other parameter instead of L parameter in his work. But as pointed out by McGlenn, so this is normalized internet operator, if you using other parameter, may overkill the pole. Okay. However, this percent max pi gives you the least order of zeros among all these other parameters, okay, related to pi. Okay, so, and um, and also you see, um, so using the Vogan variety, you can define a uh, closed ordering. So Vogan variety is a bunch of uh, different orbits. So and uh, you can define closed ordering there. Each orbit give you a L parameter. Okay, so we can show that. So uh, this and the closed ordering, the max is still give the maximum one. Minimal give you minimal one. Yeah. And uh, and this five pi is bigger than the max, than pi max. Okay, so it means this five pi, you see, given a uh, local package, right? There are several. You could have a several L parameter curve. This psi, this five psi, actually is the smallest, and the other pi will be bigger. That what it means. All right. So this is actually called the in general is a conjecture called closed order conjecture, namely. So given a packet. Right, pi is there, then psi pi is the air from that actually is bigger than five psi. So in other words, this is like a tree, and you start from five psi, 
and grow, grow up some branches in the volcanic variety. Okay, so only those bigger one would occur. Okay, and joined with Hazelton, Law, and Zhang. So we proved this for these two groups. So this we use this used uh, 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 the, this percent max. Yeah, to make you do that. Okay, and uh, so this so, so uh, this is related to the third uh, set of problems, patch up a localized packet. So in other words, you see, given a localized packet, so you have a packet of five percent in the middle. And what are the repetitions, right? What are the air permanent could occur? So this thing that only those bigger ones could occur. All right. And so, but what are what this is necessary conditions? What about sufficient condition? So for air parameter showing up in other packet. So this is still open. This is expected to be very hard. Okay. I mean, of course, given given other packet, you can use McLaren construction or to be a reformulation to to check it, which would occur. But what is the theory? It's not. It's not known yet. All right. So uh, there is some further question on the local packet, namely, so you see, um, so L packet we know is that disjoint, right? But as a packet, can they can they, they may overlap? Can they contain each other? So in the actually in the Archimedean case, they could uh, actually. So examples are given by Babur Traba and McLarina. So for this over C. However, we show that over periodic. They join with Hazelton, Law, and Zhang. So this not happen in Piedic, okay? So they don't contain each other, all right? So in other words, in other packet, there is only one way to get a stable distribution, which is compatible with endoscopy theory, just, just as an answer. However, we don't know, you see, how many way to get a stable distribution. I mean, if we don't require compatibility with endoscopy lifting. All right, so, um, yeah, so of course, see, you want to um, find application towards global, right? So of course, the unrefined representation would be the first to consider. Uh, so unrefined representation also type. So there are some conjecture like this, okay? The first one is conjecture by Clausel, saying that, so if the parameter uh, F psi is unrefined, then this packet contain unique unrefined representation and actually in this L packet. A reciprocal to Clodel conjecture is so any unrefined representation of also type actually lies in unique localized packet, and this psi is anti-generic, namely the, the so if you switch A and B, it becomes generic. Okay. And uh, it lies in this L packet. So actually the this is due to Clodel and also So actually saying that if you go to global automorphic representation, then for almost all finite places, this pi V. You see what happened here. You see pi is in global as a packet, right? So um, by the conjecture of Arthur saying the so local component is in the local this psi v, if you restrict to the local um, uh, within group times SL two, you get the psi v. However, they conjectured for almost all places they are not only in the pi psi v, they are in the L packet of pi psi v. Psi v. Okay, this is. Uh, feature of homomorphic representation. So, so we give a characterization of RMF representation to other type and um, using the theory of instruction for local packet. So we prove all these three conjecture are true for these two groups. Okay. All right. So, um, so we uh, so we recall we proved the enhanced ID conjecture. Actually, there was some nice application of that towards global. Uh, um, so here is uh, uh, the general conjecture expected. If you have a discrete um, representation globally, so if you have one place, finite place is generic, then almost all places are generic. Okay, for this part. Okay, this is so the, the rigidity of being genericity, right? So <clears throat> for these two set of groups, actually, we prove this conjecture. This is exactly the part two. Okay. So you see, we assume there is finite place such that it's generic. Then the first one thing that you see, this is global as a parameter, right? Global as a parameter, this mu i is cuspidal GL. And uh, because we don't, because there is the, the, the hypothetical um, Lalands group is still conjectural. So, and Arthur uh, replaced it using the cuspidal dependent GL. Okay, this is the Arthur SL2. Okay. It turns out so if one place is generic, then the RCLCL2 acts trivially. Okay. 
Uh, this will force that you see uh, for any place, this PsiV is a generic as a parameter, and in particular, Pi V is generic for almost all places. So this shows this conductor. And uh, so locally, actually, I attribute restriction to both the L2. So not only the other L2, the delian L2 also trivial. Okay? And furthermore, if you assume the Ramanian conjecture of GL, namely this mu V, right, local component is tampered, and then the Pi V is tampered for all V. So in other words, one place is generic. If you assume Ramanujan GL, then every place is tempered. Okay. This part four uh, improves certain result of Shahidi, so where uh, local generic condition are assumed. Okay. So um, this is some uh, implication to holomorphic implementations. So and the more uh, closer our conjecture. So Claudio has a sequence of conjecture on local component information of holomorphic implementations. So this one saying that for a discrete uh, spectrum. So uh, for almost all places, the Sataka parameter of the pi v has the form of this. You see here, the key point is this psi v, there are no plus here, OK? So in other words, I mean, you conject, uh, of course, it relates to the Ramanian conjecture of GL, OK? So but still, the from Ramanian conjecture of GL imply this conjecture is uh, we need to use the um, Inhaltrachty conjecture and etc. The Carrishian normal fiber conditions. All right. So we show that if you assume Ramanian conjecture GL, then this conjecture is true. The namely in this local uh, psi v, there are no plus. Okay. So this the, another conjecture is if um, if there is one place is amplified tempered, then all places are tempered. You remember previously, you see for uh, if one place um, is generic, then uh, then Ramadan imply that is every place temper. Okay. And here saying that so uh, for all places uh, such that pi v amplify corresponding to this Sadaka parameter, this exponent are independent of v. Okay. This yeah, this relates to uh, this conjecture. All right, so we also show that the Ramadan conjecture GL imply this both of these conjectures. So so this is related to the so so called Ramadan, uh Problem in general, of course, by Sanaka, namely, you see, for GL, cuspidal locally tempered, that's conjecture, right? And for classic group, you need a generic cuspidal, locally generic, locally tempered. So, but in general, so how bad it is, I mean, uh, from being temperedness, right? So that's a romantic uh, problem, of course, by Sanaka. All right, so uh, so these are replication of the result of RMFR representations. Okay, all right, so. Uh, I think that's all my talks. Thank you. I'd like to thank Pai Yang for this uh, very interesting talk. A lot of information to digest. Are there any questions? I have one, which is what about the unitary case? Uh, unitary case is because we, we, uh, we, uh, we, we based, based on a two bits reformulation. So he focused on. Um, uh, SOP two n and SO two plus one. So we haven't think about that yet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, so early, early on, you said that attached to an Arthur parameter, there's a naturally a representation of GLNF. Yes. That like up to a choice of representation of the dual group. No, no Pepsi is 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 uh, is the unique one. Yeah. yeah. Are there more questions? I also invite questions from the online listeners. Just put them in chat, please. Or you could unmute. OK, so if there are no more questions, let's uh, thank Bayang again for that beautiful talk. Thank you. And uh, we will be resuming after lunch. Uh, hopefully, we'll get all the tech problems figured out for those who are online. And uh, thank you very much for joining us.